Fox 2's Charlie Langton continuing our team coverage in Oxford tonight. And Charlie, the Sheriff's Department reflecting on this day in their own way. Oh, yeah, I tell you what, I mean, they were the first responders. They were there. Um, I'm in Oxford. I'm downtown Oxford. It's called Washington Square. Um, we showed this before, but there's a couple of them. You know, you can't change the past, but you can move forward. And that's really the message that I found uh, today, talking to a lot of people here. But Sheriff Bouchard was there on the scene, and he has a message for the first responders who re also remember the one year ago. Take a look. We're constantly learning and informing our training based on what we see. And what Sheriff Bouchard sees is a tribute to Oxford, the first responders coming together. We actually have two pins that we made. One is the ribbon, uh, Oxford Strong, that everybody in our agency can wear. It affected everybody. And then we have a special uh, uniform bar, if you will, for everybody that worked either at that scene or in any way, shape or form in dispatch or someplace else, touch that crisis. The sheriff has studied every mass school shooting in the last 20 years, and he says there's no question these shootings affect first responders in many ways, including the sheriff's peer-to-peer -peer program. It's counseling for some folks. It may mean, you know, going to uh, an inpatient facility, and whatever that continuum is, we're going to find a way to make sure it happens for them and happens without an impact on them um, or their career, because we understand that this is something that comes sadly with the kind of business we're in. We see a lot of trauma, and if we don't find a way to process it and move forward, it's debilitating. All right, that's Sheriff Bouchard. They're talking about the peer-to-peer -peer program that he's got for first responders. Let me bring in former state representative Brad Jacobson, longtime resident all your life here in Oxford, lifetime resident. Let me tell you, ask, tell me, what's changed between uh, one year ago and today? A year ago when we had our uh, memorial service here, a uh, vigil here downtown, we had thousands of people. We were all, we were all numb. We were in a state of shock. We, we didn't know how to respond. We didn't, never expected this in our, our, our wonderful little town. Now, we've, we, we've resolved to the fact that it happened. We see it happen around the country and we're resilient. I, I love the way the community is pulled together to support the families, the students, the the uh, uh, teachers. How, how, how do you move on though? Because you've got court cases coming up here, Oxford's in the news quite a bit. It's, it's difficult because every time there's a news story, it, it opens wounds and brings that back. But still, you, you have to remember those that were injured, those that lost their lives in the community. So it has sort of a, a mixed double-edged sword with with that. Real quick, we've got the uh, luminary. Tell me what's going on real quick. Sure. Uh, tonight at 7 o'clock, there are thousands of these luminaries are going to be lit all around town in Lake Orion also and the communities around uh, through the Oxford Resilience Center show we remember. State Representative, I appreciate Thank you so Thank much. You. I appreciate that. By the way, we're going to have more about this at 10 o'clock tonight on Fox 2. Again, uh, it's a day to remember Oxford, but as you said, they're moving on. They're resilient here in Oxford. Reporting live, Charlie Langton, I'll send it back to you. You know, going back, though, to what you were talking about with the first responders, so much rests on their shoulders, Charlie. I mean, we saw what happened even in Uvalde, Texas. They deal with a lot of trauma, but they deal with a lot of pressure, too. Yeah, that's right. And I think that peer to peer program that Sheriff Bouchard was talking about is very good. And he said, listen, your first responders, you've seen this. It's part of the job, but they're people, too. Uh, police officers are people, too, and they that's their job. But it, it, it's it's emotional. And yeah. I think we all have to recognize that. So exactly. um, it's good that they're there. And today, especially here, the Resilience Center, just not too far from me, it's a chance to go out and just just reflect and try to move on. Taryn? Yes. Well said. Charlie, thank you for that live report.